Hello, I am Mr Owen. I want to talk to you a little bit about Skill Start Wood. Uh, the actual title of the course is uh, City and Gills uh, Performing Engineering Operations in Wood. Uh, we do offer the course in metal as well and it's very similar in some in instances uh, in that uh, number one there's no exam, it's all entirely coursework based and with a heavy uh, emphasis on practical tasks. So um, students learn through doing which suits a lot of our learners and uh, we do find that students excel in Skill Start, and I really enjoy teaching the Skill Start Wood course. Um, so let me show you some of the makes that we do. Well, we start off uh, simple really with um, some hand tools and processes. So we learn about marking out, uh, cutting safely using uh, hand saws and uh, chisels. So they have to be safe in the workshop. It's very important that we uh, on top of safety. Um, each job builds towards uh, the next. It's quite clever in the way that we, we uh, stagger the skills. So for example, my current year nine class are working on this uh, jointed toolbox, which forms part of their carpenter's toolbox, which is uh, quite an in-depth job. We even use a CNC router for part of it. Uh, they use biscuit jointer. Um, I'll go back to this, sorry, before I jump ahead. So my current year nines are working on, on part of a toolbox. It's a tray that fits inside the gap in the toolbox. And each corner of the box needs a different joint on it. So we practice, okay? We practice the first routed joint here by making a mobile phone holder. So the very first job they do is to use a piece of pine to mark out and cut and chisel out nice and accurately uh, a, uh, a 10 or uh, well, between 10 and 12 mil wide groove. Here's another thing, right? So uh, every job that we do in Skill Start is, uh, is, is uh, prescribed in a portfolio that we do. So this chunky portfolio we have two and a bit years to complete and uh, the uh, jobs and the theory that goes alongside it are in this booklet. So if I show you the phone holder, I don't know if you can see it from, from where we are, but the phone holder here has planning sheets that we complete and then it has a set of drawings that we need to look at and interpret so that we know how large the object is. So as part of those drawings, if I can then turn the page, part of those drawings we understand what's called tolerance. So on the drawing there's a given tolerance that states that the width of the slot in the middle is 10 millimeters plus two is acceptable and then minus zero. So it can be oversized by two millimeters but it cannot be undersized. And when we mark that work, we check the sizes, sign off the sheets there and as long as the planning work is done then we can say that that job's been completed. We make a push stick, use the uh, fret saw, and uh, some uh, other equipment to round the corners. So students do get to use power tools. Rounding the corners can be done using a handheld uh, palm router with a round over bit on it. But we complement that with, um, with hand tools. So things like plow planes and rebate planes. Um, students have to be able to use a biscuit jointer, biscuit jointer to uh, join together parts for toolboxes and things like that. Uh, we're well point, uh, equipped with uh, workshop tools. This is a set of tools that the students are assigned. They've got a full set of sharp chisels, tenon saw, mallet, marking gauge, things like that. We use jigs quite widely. Last thing I guess to say is, so after the practical tasks have been done, so this is just part of the practical work they've got to do. They make a marking gauge, they make an a, a audio amplifier that a mobile phone fits into. Uh, once they've filled the, finished the suite of makes they've got to do, they have got the option of getting double award in this subject. So double award level two is worth two Bs at GCSE. And the double award, the second unit they have to do is computer-aided design. And the computer-aided design course um, teaches them quite a lot of, of uh, in-depth information about how to create a technical drawing that somebody can work from using the computer. So uh, I enjoy teaching that as well. That's good fun. Um, so you can pass the course at level one. You can have a single award if you don't do the CAD unit. We try and make sure that all students do. Uh, you can have double single awards, so you could have two grades uh, a D, or you double a double award at level two, which would be with like a, say two B grades. So there you go. That's skill starts. That's our provider. But the title of the course is uh, City and Guilds PEO Performing Engineering Operations in Wood. Okay. Thanks very much for your time. Bye.